Alright, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. I'm Metro. Uh, last episode ended abruptly, because I still have the 15 minute limit, and I'm too lazy to get rid of that by putting in my phone number, and we just ran out of fuel as I was speaking in this stage. But, we are in orbit. Barely. Actually, that orbit's probably way too low, and we'll enter the atmosphere, and that'll slow us down and we'll crash. But anyway, <laughs> ah, darn. Ooh, yeah. Oh, it's it's slightly raising. Okay. Oh no, it's not not really. Oh, hey, it, it rose one. Maybe maybe it is almost. No, not not really. Okay, yep, we're we're crashing. We're gonna be crashing directly into Kerbin. The name of this planet, by the way. <laughs> well, I guess while we're here, we may as well do some space station stuff. Let's extend our solar panels. Also, now it looks more like a space station. You're not a space station unless you have solar panels. I mean, come on. Alright, okay. Let's turn on the lights on this side just, just to see. Lights on? These lights too. Okay. That doesn't really help, but eh, it's something. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> awesome. And now, let's do some EVA. So, Bob and Durali? Durali Kerman? Bob and Durali Kerman. They are the first men in Kerbal Space and orbit. Is that, is that, yeah, it's an orbit, but it's a decaying orbit. But still, it's orbit. So congratulations, man. You will die, though, because I do not have any parachutes on this ship. I'm sorry to say. But, anyway. Hey, don't be, don't be sad. It's okay. Go on here. Go out into space. You'll be fine. And I'm, I've done RCS before, or EVA. EVA is extra vehicular activity. Again, thank you training. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that every episode. Um, so basically, just doing going outside the uh, the ship. But when you let go, you have like a little jetpack that you can use to fly around. But I'm so bad at the jetpack, <laughs> like so bad. Here's our here's our like main storage area. So yeah, oh, hey, it's okay, guy. Don't worry. So, so let's just get back. And so both of our guys are down here. So now we have no people. Technically, there's nobody piloting the ship. Yep, I can't. I can't even. Like I. Oh, I guess this. Yeah, I can't even turn SAS off or adjust or anything. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. That's how it worked. But now the question is, can I get these people out? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, even though we're gonna crash and burn like the failures we are, <laughs> we are still gonna learn a lot of stuff about outer space that I don't know much about. Okay, so I attached some letters here by myself, and it looks like they're working quite well, which is wonderful. And... Hmm. I'm wondering though, I guess the lights probably use energy. Am I gain like oh here I have to gain get inside the main ship to look at stuff. But I was wondering if these solar panels are actually gaining us electricity. Yep, our electric charge is not dropping at all even though I have these lights on. I mean I can't imagine lights take up much electricity. And solar panels I imagine produce a lot. So we're good. But just just making sure. I love I love how from that angle you can't even tell there's a solar panel there. That's awesome. Uh, even in real life I really like space. Space is awesome. Especially the physics of space. That's probably my favorite. And it looks awesome. I mean come on. Just look at all the stars. <laughs> and there's the sun. Hello sun. Okay. Bob, stop freaking out, okay? Come on. Get over yourself. Oh, ooh, man. 
Okay. I'm just gonna... Well, I guess there's no point in putting the throttle up. I have no engines. But here, let's get this guy out of there. And we are going to practice uh, EVA. Because I suck at it. And if I'm gonna make a space station, I don't want my guys to get lost in space. Because that would suck. Hey, guy, why, why aren't you moving? Oh, RCS, there we go. I have to turn on R. Yeah. Okay. Well, this isn't too bad. Let's, let me try to get back on the ladder again. I don't know how to go up, though. How do you go up? Oh, yep, that didn't work. Well, now... Well, okay. Goodbye, ship. I can do this. That doesn't really... Like... I can adjust myself like that. But when I start... When I press forward, I just... Hmm. Yeah, like, how do you go up? I guess that made me go up, but it's really awkward to go up. I don't know. The controls aren't very good, but I guess it makes sense for it to be difficult to do this stuff. Because I imagine <laughs> being an astronaut and doing this would be extremely difficult. Maneuvering when you're not experiencing gravity. Oh, okay. Ooh, F, F, nice. You're upside down, you're hanging upside down, but that's fine, that's fine, that's wonderful. I know that you're also not even hanging out at all. Your mask is just kind of stuck to the wrong. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, here's RCS thrusters. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Alright, let's just get in here. Alright, Bob. Is it possible? To use the RCS thrusters as thrust. Okay, nope, never mind. Nope, that'll just make me spin. Okay, I lied. Never mind. Never mind. Well, that's awesome. The solar panels are like self adjusting. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Well, let me turn these lights on too. May as well. These two lights turn on at the same time when I turn lights on, but these two, they have to be turned on individually, which is strange. Hmm, I don't know. Alright, guys. Well, we are going to uh, fast forward the time. Because, oh, man, oh. I think we've learned all that we can. Oh, that looks awesome. Yeah, we've, we've learned what we can, guys, but, uh, I think your time is up. You're, you're dead. Dead. D I was gonna say dead meat. Eh, that's not very good. I, d I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I, I give up. I give up on talking. But hey, there's, there's the moon. That's cool, you, how you can see it. Wait. Oh yeah, my electric charge is going down, because I'm not getting any sun over here. Oh yeah, man, these lights, they barely take up any energy. <laughs> like, it's going down one minute, pretty much. Okay, cool. Just pause the game, didn't mean to do that. But anyway, let's see, where are we? Did we actually, did we pass the periapsis? I think we did. Did we? I don't know. Okay. Well, let's watch as these guys crash into... Kerbin. Like, it, we're, we're in a circle, like a, our orbit is in a circle, but we're decaying because uh, we're low enough to get into the atmosphere a bit, and the, uh, the friction will slow us down, and eventually we'll just keep decreasing our orbit until we crash, which kind of sucks. But hey, such is the life. Let's speed up all the way. Alright, you know what? Here, let's, let's get you. Actually. Yeah. Let's get you out here, man. <laughs> Enjoy outer space while it lasts. Whoa, whoa. Are you sliding off? Yeah, you're sliding off. Whoa, man. <laughs> Don't slide off. Hold on. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, I'm at... Speed. I'm at, like, four times speed. I didn't know you could move around. When you're 
time lapsed like that. Hmm. I don't know that. Yep, as you can see, we're entering the atmosphere a bit. And also turning very violently. And we will continue. I'm not sure if we'll crash what, this revolution or what. I'm inexperienced with this, but we're going to crash, whether we like it or not. You know what? Here, let me just get in here and at least turn SAS. Oh man, SAS is on. What is. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Alright. Yeah, we won't crash in this orbit, but as you can see, the parapsis has significantly decreased. Uh, so we will actually will probably last quite a few revolutions, but not forever. You know what, guy? Alright. I wonder if you can crash into the earth. <laughs> That's pr <laughs> That's probably not the kind of question that I should ask, but I am anyway. Goodbye, my spaceship. Goodbye. Oh man. Woo, you are crazy. Let's turn that down. I'm just gonna... Oh god, this guy is gonna crash, he's gonna enter the atmosphere and just burn up. Oh, that would be quite the spectacle. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Oh man. Wee. Wee. Let's see, where's our ship at? <clears throat> yep, we are actually at a closer orbit because of the, uh, the jetpack maneuvers we made. We are moving faster. That's cool. Physics. Wonderful. Let's increase our acceleration. Oh, well, not acceleration, but um, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Mm, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> speed. Speed. Whatever. Let's see. <laughs> you have a straight face for the predicament you're in. Well, I applaud you. I'm just gonna do this. Why are you freaking out so much? <laughs> Why are you spinning around like crazy? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, you're just freaking out. Can I turn my lights on? Do I have lights on my helmet? I guess I guess I don't. Alright. Let's continue to jetpack against our orbit and attempt to uh, Oh yep, see? See we're crashing. Our orbit connects with Kerbin right there. Our space, yeah, our, our uh, space station is like actually gonna remain in orbit for a, a bit. That's interesting. Okay. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh god. Oh man, guy. I'm so sorry. You look so sad. Well, you're about to die, so I guess that makes sense to be sad. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry, Bob. I'm so sorry. Oh hey, we're not on fire anymore, but now we have some sort of trail. Well, now that now the trail's gone. Hey, maybe I'll survive, guy. Look on the bright side. Let's try it. And come on, you can do it. Uh, well, he didn't do it. He didn't survive. <sighs> R.I.P. Bob Kerman. Alright, Pete, let's... Alright, let's go to the tracking station. And, uh, fly the Urania station. Urania station. Let's see. Loading. 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 <laughs> Maybe by next episode, it'll load. <laughs>